I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. Today we're going to take a look at two plugins from New Blue's new Video Essential 6 collection, Picture Grid and Tile. Let's dive straight in and take a look at Picture Grid. Creating a simple picture-in-picture picture is relatively straightforward. In fact, there's a picture-in-picture picture plugin in the Video Essentials 2 collection that makes it a snap. But when it comes to displaying multiple pictures in picture, the task can become quite tedious. You might be looking to get that 24 feel and have simultaneous action in three or four windows. Product demonstrations from multiple angles, motor racing, football games, education, the applications are numerous. Wedding videographers might want to simultaneously show the bride getting ready, the flowers arriving at the church, and the groom stumbling out of the pub. Picture Grid helps you to achieve great results very quickly. At first glance, Picture Grid may appear a little complicated, but in fact, it's very simple to use. Let's step through the features. Your Picture Grid is made up of up to 8 segments across and 8 segments down, giving a total of up to 64 locations for your pictures. But you don't have to have an 8x8 grid, it could be 2x2, 3x1, 1x3 or 7x2 or any other combination you like. The grid determines the number of possible positions for your pictures to go in, but your pictures can span any number of grid segments and they can overlap as we'll see later. It's probably worth you scribbling a rough grid onto a piece of paper just to lay things out before you start entering values. Let's do that now. In this example, I'm going to lay out an 8x8 grid and I want to show three pictures on it. One which will be 3x4 grid segments, the second will be 2x4 and the third 2x7. So how does this translate into settings for the plugin? To keep things simple, at first I'm just going to use three blocks of colour for my three pictures, red, yellow and blue. Of course in the real world, this could be videos or stills as your little heart desires. You'll need to set up a separate track for each picture. I'm using Sony Vegas and how you do this and what you see in your NLE might be slightly different. To make things simple I've got into the habit of setting up one track and adding an instance of the picture grid plugin. I then configure the basic settings to determine the size of the grid and any other features that might be common to all my pictures. I also tend to start out with a window size for my pictures of 1x1 one one or 2x2 two two, regardless of how big I want the pictures to end up. It just helps whilst I'm setting things up. Don't worry about grid positions for the time being, they'll all default to the top left, meaning that to start with you'll only actually be able to see the top track. At this stage I'd also probably set up my border properties, assuming they're all to be the same, but let's come back to borders a little later. The picture settings determine which area of the original image we see in the picture window and whether it's magnified or not, and again, we'll worry about that later. So now I'll duplicate my track so I end up with three identical tracks, all with a partially configured instance of Picture Grid. I'll add my different colour blocks to each track, and as I mentioned earlier, to start with you'll only see the picture on the top track as they all currently share the same position. Let's separate them out then by using the Grid Position value. The grid position is a bit of an odd concept to grasp at first. I found that two beers and a large scotch helped with my comprehension, if not with my speech. Basically, the grid position values range from 0 to 100, but where your picture ends up depends on the granularity of your grid. So as you move the slider, the position will progressively snap into every available location, but with different grid sizes, the values will vary. I'll wait while you pour yourself a beer and come to terms with this concept. Welcome back. So, now I've got my pictures roughly positioned, let's look at their size. At the moment each block is 2x2 two two grid segments. I want the red block to be 3x4 grid segments, the yellow block to be 2x4, and the blue block to be 2 by 7. I'll just tweak the position slightly. OK, that's looking pretty much how I wanted it in terms of size and position. Let's spruce it up a touch by adding a border. Very simple controls here. Thickness is self-explanatory as are colour, opacity, and rounding. 
Not really sure what else I can tell you about borders. Don't forget though, if you want to apply the same border to all your pictures, you'd be wise to set that up in your first instance of picture grid before you duplicate it. That saves you having to adjust the parameters for every picture. There's one further section of the plugin that we haven't looked at yet, and that's the picture group of parameters. To demonstrate that, I'll replace the red block with a video clip. I want to crop the picture and move it so that the raw exchange building is more in frame. Opacity speaks for itself, and stretch lets me, well, stretch the picture so that it fills the window regardless of shape, size or proportions. And that pretty much covers the features of Picture Grid. Keep in mind though that because each picture or video is on its own track, you can still make individual changes to each track. So if you want to fine tune your positioning and your NLE allows it, you can do just that. If you want to apply individual effects to each picture, no problem. How about a bit of rotation, or maybe some drop shadow to throw in some depth? The possibilities are endless, and with Picture Grid taking a lot of the effort out of the initial setup, you can spend more time exercising your creativity. Picture Grid ships with a whole set of presets that cover many typical grid sizes and positions. If, for example, all you want is a simple 2x2 grid, you might find it easier to use the preset 4up A1 on your first track, 4up A2 on your second, and so on, as the grids and positions are already set up for you. There's even a Brady Bunch style preset that gives nine windows in a 3x3 grid. All you need now is a family with six perfect children and a maid, and you have a blockbuster in the making. So that's Picture Grid. We've still got a little time to take a quick look at another multiple picture type of plugin from Video Essential 6, and that's the Tile plugin. Tile does just what its name suggests. It lets you display multiple copies of a single image in your frame and, if you want, to apply various effects to each tile. Let's look at some examples from the presets before we look at the individual controls in more detail. Here's some lovely footage of a spider's web shot in my back garden on a very frosty morning. Stepping through the presets gives you an idea of the kind of results you can get with Tile ending up with my favourite, Venetian blinds. So let's create our own preset now and work through the various settings. I'll reset this image to start with a clean canvas. First up, we set the number of vertical and horizontal tiles up to a maximum of 10 by 10 or 100 tiles. Let's keep this simple at 3 by 3. Overlap lets me offset each tile row, or if I check tile vertically, each column is staggered. Skipping across to scale, I can crop the image to zoom into a particular area and I can adjust that point of interest using the origin crosshairs. Stretch does exactly the same as in Picture Grid. It lets me fill each tile with my picture. Well, things are starting to look pretty cool, but let's not stop there. Let's now process the image and then add some variation into each tile. I can apply a tint to my picture, I can remove all the original colour information or I can supersaturate it. I can adjust the brightness, the clarity or contrast, the opacity level and I can apply a blur. Now having set up my baseline image I can go in and add as much or as little variation as I wish for each setting. It's that simple to start generating great backgrounds and cool shots for your title sequences and other creative projects. Don't forget you can keyframe all these parameters, and if 100 tiles aren't enough, just daisy chain another instance of the tile plugin for 100 squared, and a third instance for 100 cubed. I've counted each individual tile, and I can confirm that there are indeed 1 million of them. Don't forget also you can add other effects before and after tile to get even more interesting results. Well, that wraps it up for this tutorial on Picture Grid and Tile, two fantastic plugins that, like all new Blues offerings, do a great job quickly and easily.